Welcome to .NET Nuke 6.2. In this video, we're going to show you how to quickly get up and running with the .NET Nuke platform. Here on the Getting Started page, you'll find across the top of the page your main navigation for your website. Now, out of the box, .NET Nuke comes configured with a couple of different pages from Getting Started all the way over here to News and Promotions. Now, in this video, we'll show you how to add a new page to that menu. Also on the page, you'll find the Getting Started video. On the right side, you'll find links to manuals, training, apps, our community, and even our conference coming up this fall. At the bottom of the page, you'll find some additional quick links and links to sponsors of the .NET Nuke project. Now within .NET Nuke, we need to log into the website in order to be able to manage content. So we're going to click on the login option. And that'll take us here to the login screen. Now in most cases, what you'll find is you'll need to log in with the host of the super user account the first time you log into your website. Now if you change that super user username during the installation process, you would use whatever the username was that you chose. By default, that would be the host account. So we'll go ahead and log into that account. And you can see as soon as we're logged in with that super user account, the website starts to change. Up here at the top of the page, we now have a control panel. Within that control panel, we have a menu for the administrator and host functionality. We also have a modules option, which is going to allow us to start placing modules, placing content and functionality onto our pages. We have a pages menu, which allows us to start creating and managing pages within our website. And then a tools option, which provides us some, a shortcut to some of the common actions. Over on the right side of the control panel, we have our mode drop-down list. You have four options within .NET Nuke Professional and Enterprise Editions. You'll find three options in the Community Edition. View, Edit, and Layout. And then in Professional and Enterprise, you'll find the, the Preview option. The mode option allows us to change the view of this particular website. When we logged in for the first time with that account, we're logged into Edit Mode. We can switch to View Mode. We can switch to Edit Mode. We can switch to Layout Mode. The layout mode will show you the page in a wireframe layout. It shows you panes that are available on the page. Panes are locations where we can place modules and place content on the page. If we switch back to the edit mode, we can see the content in those modules themselves. Now in the video here, you'll see some arrows highlight the various modules that are currently on this page. You can also find those modules by mousing over content with your mouse, and you'll see the Manage button appears. This Manage button, when you mouse over it, shows you an Actions menu. The Actions menu allows you to interact with the modules and with their content. So here on the Getting Started page, we have a number of different modules available to us that we could start to manage their content. We're going to do those. We're going to navigate to the home page. We're going to choose the module that has a title, Welcome to Awesome Cycles. You're going to mouse over that Manage button for the module and click on the Edit Content option. Now, in this particular content, it's currently providing some lorem ipsum text or some placeholder text. I want to replace that text with some actual content for the Awesome Cycles website. So I'm going to do that by pasting in some information that I had previously typed in. It's just a little bit more specific information about Awesome Cycles. Now we're, we're here in the HTML module editing the content for that module. We have a very rich text editor interface that's available to us. There's a number of toolbars and a number of different features within that interface that we can utilize. It's a very Microsoft Word based approach to managing your content. I'd recommend you click on the link that's going to appear here in the video that will take you to an additional video that will show you more information about that rich text editor. For now, though, we're going to highlight the words click here, and I'm going to click on the hyperlink manager in order to paste in a link to a registration page as part of our website. So we're going to add a hyperlink into this particular content. We'll scroll down and click on Save. The, the page will refresh. That content will now be saved into the database, and it is now published on the home page here of this particular website. Now from here, we're going to go ahead and create a new page on this website. We're going to create a page called Community. We want that to show up after the News and Promotions item in the menu. So to do that, we're going to mouse over the Pages menu. We're going to go to the Add New Page section. We're going to give our page a title. We're going to choose a template. Now you have two template options, one that is blank and one that is called Default. We're going to choose the blank template. We're going to choose where the page goes in the menu. We're going to say it goes after, and then choose the News and Promotions page. From there, we can click on Add Page. That will create our new community page. Now on the community page, we want to place a module or two so we can start to have some content on the page. 
To do that, we're going to mouse over the modules menu within the control panel. We're simply going to add the HTML Pro module onto the page. If you're using the community edition of .NET Nuke, you would just add the HTML module. And I'm going to go ahead and give the module a title. Just call it Welcome to Our Community. And we're going to place that module into the content pane of the community page. Click on Add Module. The module then gets injected onto the page. And we can now manage the content for that module by mousing over the Manage button, choosing the Edit Content option. Now I'm going to paste in some additional information into this page. It's not much, but it's something just to show you some content on the page. Click on Save. You can see we now have content on the community page. Now we would most likely add additional modules to the page, placing them in additional panes. But for the brevity of this particular video, we're going to leave this page as is for now. What we want to do is we want to make this page visible to anyone who's navigating or visiting on our website. Right now, the way this page was created, it is only visible to administrators. You can see the blue box here. Well, in order to change the permissions on the page, we need to mouse over the Pages menu. We're going to click on the Page Settings. Within the Page Settings, we're going to go to the View column. Next to the All Users row, we're going to check that column. Now, in Community Edition, the Permissions grid here would have a View and an Edit option. We're in the Professional and Enterprise Editions of .NET Nuke. You can see we have more granular control of our permissions. Check out some of the additional videos in our .NET Nuke video library on .NET Nuke.com to find more information about the granular permissions. From here, we'll go ahead and click on Update Page. That will update the page, save our permissions, refresh us, and you'll notice that blue box goes away. At this point, if we were to log out of the website, you can see we're no longer logged in, and we can access the community page within our navigation. Now that's just a brief introduction to .NET Nuke 6.2. We have a large number of videos being created for the new release of the platform. You'll find four additional videos to learn more information about how to utilize and manage your .NET Nuke website linked at the end of this video. There will also be a link directly to the .NET Nuke video library that you can access.